Hey everyone, DQ here, and welcome to another episode of Building with DQ on the Dodgecraft SMP server. And this is episode 24, and it's probably about the third time now that I've made this episode. Uh, first time I was just doing nothing, second time I was doing nothing again, pretty much, and the third time they finally updated the Camera Studio mod, which means I will be able to finally start a new time lapse this episode. Um, so that should be interesting here. Now, uh, what I have been doing is, uh, sort of landscaping, um, various things around here. Let me just get my stuff here. Um, I, let me just dump off some other things here as well. Actually, I need these seeds, so I'll take those. Anyways, yeah, I have been busy, uh, since the last episode here. Um, as you can see, I have built this little building here. It's like, uh, sort of a butcher shop type of thing. And, uh, this design actually did not come from Madness 64. It came from another, uh, YouTuber that I followed a tutorial. The, however, the building was very plain. Um, and it really did not match the style of the buildings around here. So, so I added these little end pieces on here. I've added some decoration on here. I added this thing on the front, plus a little balcony here. It makes it look so much better now. And it sort of matches the style of uh, the blacksmith up there. Now, uh, when I was following these tutorials, or this tutorial, uh, the building is pretty much hollow. So I'm going to have to sort of figure out a design um, to make this. But... Uh, I'm sort of leaning towards a butcher shop. This may, in fact, not be a butcher shop in the long run. Could be just a single house. Um, I haven't decided yet. And then we are building this. This huge building is actually a mage house. Um, unfortunately, it has not been updated. Well, the thing is, I'm following a tutorial. Didn't realize this person was making a two-part tutorial, so I'm just waiting for the other part of, of how to build this mage house. Um, video. That's what I'm waiting for. So right now we just have sort of a skeleton of what's going to be a really nice large building. And this is going to be a really nice building uh, when it's finished. It's going to look pretty cool in here. It's probably the largest building outside of the castle that's going to be in this town. And then finally I also built this building over here off camera as well. Again, I was going to build a whole lot of these in time lapses, but I've decided because the camera studio mod, for whatever reason, takes forever for it to update. Um, so yeah, this is a tailor shop. And uh, I haven't really done anything in here. I've put sort of some fake rafters and stuff in here. And then you can come up here and you have another room. And then again, you can come even higher to a third floor to sort of a, a lookout type of building here. And uh, this building... When I was building it, I honestly didn't think I ha would have enough space between the castle and the chapel, but apparently I do. And, um, this is that. It fits, just barely fits. It touches that roof there, and, uh, just barely touches the castle here, but, um, it fits. It does fit, which is pretty cool. So today we are going to be doing the time-lapse of the windmill. Finally, we're going to be doing the windmill, and we're also going to do a time-lapse of the uh, uh, farmer house. And that will be coming... Actually, that will, will be done this episode. So, I will be doing the tutorial... I will be doing the time-lapse uh, closer to the end of this episode. And the next episode, it will be all finished. We'll, I can tour you guys tour the inside for you guys and uh, it should look pretty cool and this field that I've been working on with the trees and everything I think I talked about the last episode if not this is what I have been doing um, looks good with the wall and uh, I've been slowly trying to spread it outwards but it, it looks pretty cool and the farmhouse is going to be going um, probably right here uh, I gotta cut down a few more trees and sort of level the ground out just for the farmhouse. Ignore these blocks of dirt. It's not from Enderman. I was trying to build something else, but uh, didn't like the way the tutorial was laid out, so I tore it all back down. And I also moved my Nether portal. 
Uh, it is no longer at the um, in my mind. It is now over here. So, and I also moved it in the Nether as well, so it comes out at this point. Uh, so in the Nether, um, you'll come out here. I'll have like a bunch of welcome signs, things like that. This I may, in fact, actually turn into a building, um, probably a house of some sort. And you'll exit the house, and you'll come in here. And uh, I will be putting other paths in as well. There'll be a path going off in that direction. Uh, there'll be a path going on down here. Uh, probably I'm going to end up filling this all with trees. And uh, we're going to add some interesting stuff with that as well. So, um, let me go back into the town, which is where I was planning to go in the first place, to go get some more gravel. <coughs> which I did not bring with me, but whatever. Um, and also I have to build a bridge. I have not really found a good design that I like yet. I'll probably end up making my own style of bridge, which will be going right here. I might put a little house cabin, sort of a, another one of these little houses, but over there. Not a cabin. Cabins wouldn't match. Medieval style. Um... But anyways, this town is filling up very, very nicely, and I just realized I can't sleep because they're... Oops. Apparently, I registered a point. Okay, I was trying to... Let me just fix this here. Okay. There we go. As that's what I was trying to get, was that list there. Um... So let's get some gravel, if I still have some gravel left over. Yeah, we have tons of gravel, which is good. I can make a path. And, uh, oh, I'm going to show you guys one more thing I've been doing over here as well. Um, I've been finally, I've torn out one of these buildings. Because uh, <clears throat> I wanted to build something here, but did not have enough room. And these buildings are ugly. They don't match anything. Uh, they are being removed. I've been using the logs and other projects as well. Um, so what I'll probably end up doing here <coughs> is what I've thought about doing is actually filling in this lake. Now, when I first started this area, things have changed a lot. There was a big-ass mountain there. There was something else beyond there and everything else. This lake was lower. I raised up the water. But um, what I'm going to actually do is take this land and make it flat all the way to that wall. This lake will still be here, and it will connect to the sewers, which are right here. And uh, we'll have like an underground lake sort of thing that the sewers connect to, which should look pretty cool looking. Um, that'll be another project on its own. And then this will allow me to uh, put some more roads out here and uh, build some more out here as well. And what I've found is I've been running out of room in this town. Um, <coughs> So what I'll probably do is this wall over here, um, let me just zoom in, this wall here will connect up here. We'll have sort of a shelf up here, um, and these buildings will be gone, gone forever. They're ugly buildings. They're not really ugly, but they just don't match anything here, so they have to go, unfortunately. So, um, what... I think I will do now is start the time lapse of the video uh, for you guys. So, um, actually, before I do that, I wanted to show you some before and after pictures. Um, I have this original seed for this world. I'm not going to give out the seed, but uh, I do have the original seed. And I went to the exact same area here as I did uh, when I first started. Pretty much I went to the single player, I went to this area, and it's like, wow, things have changed. Mountains, dips, and valleys, sort of things like that. And the way I've made this change is crazy when you think about it. Hello, skeleton. Uh, mm -hmm. Very funny. So yeah, things have changed dramatically around here. So check out these before and after pictures. Um that I have put together right here.
And now we are actually going to get started on this time lapse, and we're going to finally start building on um, this windmill, which I keep talking about for ages, and uh, this farmhouse. So uh, sit back, relax, check out this video, and uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it, and also check out my brand new outro, which will now be on all my videos. Um, and yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks guys for watching and uh, goodbye.